Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's take a look at source transformations. Actually, very easy to do and very powerful to use. For example, we can have a circuit like this that has a voltage source and, in series, a resistor. Or we can have a current source and, in parallel, a resistor. It turns out we can very easily go from this circuit to that circuit, or at least that portion of a circuit to transforming it into making it look like that back and forth. How do we find the correct values for the current and the voltage and the correct values for the resistance? Well, it turns out that the value of the resistance doesn't change in the source transformation. Here we have resistors in series with the voltage source and whatever the value is here when we transform it to a current source with a resistor in parallel, the value of the resistance does not change. You use the very same resistance value. But how do we find the, the transformation of the current from the voltage to the current and from the current to the voltage? For that, we use Ohm's law, realizing that I equals V over R and V is equal to I times R. When we then go from the voltage to the current, to find the current, we simply take the voltage and divide it by the resistance. If we go from the current to the voltage, we simply take the current, multiply times the resistance, and make that the voltage. Let's illustrate that in these two simple examples. Let's say we have a 10 volt source with a 50 ohm resistor in series. We want to transform that to a current source and a resistance in parallel. First of all, the value of the resistance doesn't change. This is therefore 50 ohms. However, the current will need to take on the value according to Ohm's law. I is equal to V divided by R. In this case, V is 10 volts. R is 50 ohms, and therefore that is equal to 0 0.2 amps. We place that in here, we can then say that I of the source is equal to 0 0.2 amps in this particular case when we transform it from a voltage source to a current source. Now let's transform from a current source to a voltage source. Again, the resistances, even though we go from a parallel resistor to a series resistor, the value of the resistance doesn't change. But how do we find the voltage of the voltage source? Using Ohm's law, we can say that V equals I times R. I is equal to 2 amps. R is equal to 50 ohms. And therefore, we get 100 volts with a 2 amp source that transforms into a 100 volt source, V of the source, 100 volts, and the resistor in series is 50 ohms. Divide 100 volts by 50 ohms, you get 2 amps, which is the current source. Here, when you divide 10 volts by 50 ohms, you get 0.2 amps of the current source. When you go from the current source to the voltage source, multiply the resistance times the current, and you get the voltage. Multiply the resistance times the current, and you get the voltage. And that's how we transform from a voltage source circuit to a current source circuit and back and forth. And that's how it's done. Really slick, very powerful, and you'll see some examples in which it comes in really handy to take a circuit that is otherwise very difficult to solve into a circuit that is much easier to solve. Watch for the examples. It's quite interesting how that's applied.